Hi Virgo, welcome back to your reading. I hope you guys had a fantastic Easter weekend holiday. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that subscribe button. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, there will be a link in the description box below so you can purchase a reading and you can also become a member of my channel. Yeah, all you have to do is click the join button and you can, um, uh, $2.99 per month, you get all those cool little emojis, you get to join the Virgo gang here in the chat, get a sweet little badge, all that cool stuff. Um, so yeah, if you are new, yes, welcome. You know what, you guys, I am trying to figure out <laughs> where the heck my, um, list is here because I want to welcome some of the newest members. So yeah, if you have recently joined or over the weekend, welcome Anna Rodriguez, Tiffany Conlon, Tracy White, Sean Varner, and yeah, welcome you guys. So happy to have you here. All right, let's get into your reading. Let's see what is going on, Virgo, for, let's see, we're going into April, the uh, new moon eclipse is on the 8th. Okay, so you're starting with a mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, okay, relationships, reflect our wounds, introspection. So somebody's mirroring you. Um, the way you're feeling is the way they're feeling. The things you're doing or the things they're doing is because that's what you're doing, I'm hearing. You also have love, unconditional love, self-love. Maybe you're looking in the mirror, loving yourself, Virgo. And what else do you have going on here? Oh, and you're getting a love call, Virgo. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Love, 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 all over the table. All right, Virgo, right? This is good. This is good. Um, yeah, this is good. Let's take a look. So, yeah, um, especially this week. Now, let's see. I was not here for the Sunday and Monday. So we're going to go from April, uh, starting now, the 2nd, as I'm recording this video, all the way up through the 8th, the eclipse. Okay, so expect a love call from someone this week. Um, let's see. Or a call back. Somebody's just... What is this mirroring energy? Okay, Aquarius showing up here, the fool. So let's see, who the heck is giving you a call? Someone's a fool for you. Oh my goodness. Someone is a fool, is, is a fool. Why do fools fall in love? The fools rush in. Someone's a fool for your love this week for sure, especially. Okay, let's get, let me get more cards here. All right, Virgo, so you do have the Empress Taurus energy. Oh, looking at your queenly, beautiful self. Making a, someone's making a, so I feel like there's gonna be this love call, okay? Somebody's gonna call you up or text you or whichever, send you a message, let you know. Um, now for some of you, maybe this already happened, but um, I just kind of feel like someone views you as like their empress, whether you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. Somebody's got their eye on you like you are the goat. Now maybe you are born in the year of the goat, but you are the god or goddess of all time. <laughs> and they are a fool for you. And I feel like there's some kind of decision that they're making or that they've made and wow they're coming in hot to trot towards you now why am i using this deck i just picked it up and i don't ever really use this deck okay well this is what's going on here so uh a fearless impulsive moves that somebody is making towards you this week okay um this could have something to do with travel there's a new there's a new beginning happening here hmm and it feels like somebody might have been avoidant or deadlocked on making a decision, weighing their options, and it looks like they're... I'm hearing someone here is ready to compromise or is willing to compromise on something. I just saw the Two of Pentacles, so yeah, weighing options. So there's a big decision that is either 
been put in place or is being put in place or someone is making a decision this week to free themselves up and coming towards you with the knight of uh, wands here like passion energy um being very impulsive even with the fool this is like effort i'm just gonna do it i don't care i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna mirror this energy back to virgo i'm just gonna do it this fool is kind of like it's very spontaneous there's an opportunity here as pleasure seeking kind of energy feeling like hey you know what this is a possibility this can work this is something that i can do so it has something to do with a decision that can't, has come about or is coming about this week like a decision okay now wait a minute i'm just getting another message here this could also be in regards to a, just an actual love call like somebody takes a risk here maybe was thinking about calling you or thinking about talking to you or wasn't sure maybe you guys are mirroring some kind of energy back and forth like what they're feeling you're feeling what you're feeling they're feeling i mean i feel like someone is also just going to take a risk they might have been weighing whether or not to reach out to you or to call you and they're just gonna do it they're just doing it doing it and doing it and doing it well they're just doing it they're they're like whatever this thing is whether it's to reach out take a wrist wrist a wrist here's my wrist take a risk make that call reach out to you express how they feel express that they love you they're just thinking about you you know um maybe while traveling or making a decision to coming to see you that kind of thing setting something up okay so let's see Oh, High Priestess. Ooh. I feel like this person has been kind of keeping it a secret that they have been avoiding you, but they really haven't um, pur purposely avoiding you. I feel like um, this person has been kind of off the radar or just like not available for love for any from anyone or any options that they have i don't feel like they're taking other options from anyone else they've kind of been a bit secretive and i feel like a, a lot of this has to do with you um they needed they're telling me spirit saying that they needed to be sure about you or some decision in regards to you okay why does my arm look so like wonky my hand looks wonky they needed to be sure about some decision about something that went in kind of like checking like the subconscious subconscious chat seeing their inter their intuition tells them or has been telling them not to move forward with anybody else or not to move forward with someone else like another person uh, oh my gosh this person's like really weighted down in thought here yeah um and and i kind of feel like their decisions already made as far as you like you're it for them you're the one that they want to be with virgo and um i also feel like other offers that they get or anyone else that's trying to offer you know their love and all to them they're they're denying it they're being very apathetic they're disconnected from somebody else even though the offers may keep coming in they're not really feeling it and but they're keeping that kind of hidden under wraps like kind of secretive um it's just hush hush i don't know if it's purposefully being done where it's hush hush from you or if it's just are they're secretly getting offers but they're you know the arms are closed here they're like eh i don't know they're bored maybe even a little with the oh that's what they said they're bored with the types of people that approach them because you know why <laughs> they're not the empress <laughs> and so i guess that'll boost your ego right virgo look at the empress beautiful dress well diamonds and pearls if i could i would give you the world wearing a crown 
you know, just, I know I saw a bunny rabbit on, I thought, I, I thought there was a bunny on here. Maybe it's on the queen of pentacles, but look at flowing robe, beauty, nature. Look at that. Look at her seat. Like it's gorgeous. It's just so luxurious. I don't know, isn't it? <laughs> There's no one like you, Virgo, right? I mean, I'm not, I mean, yeah, okay, that's true. But I'm just saying this person, whomever they are, feels this way. It could be a fire sign. It could be a Libra, a Taurus. It could be a Pisces or a Cancer, Aquarius. It doesn't matter, okay? They're secretly turning down offers. They're not, you know, they're like, nah, I gotta think, you yeah, nah, I don't think so, nah, I wanna be with Virgo. So you're gonna get, you're gonna hear from this person. You're gonna get a call or a text or something, you know? What, you know, if you're not talking to them, they're not talking to you because you're not talking to them. They're just kind of like mirroring you. And that's why I was saying, um, <clears throat> they're taking this risk here, like they don't know what the response is gonna be from you, but they hope they're gonna win you over. As far as you're going to be like, yes, I miss you or I want to talk to you, whatever. They just want, hoping for a positive response or reply or that you'll recognize them or just pay attention to them, you know? Um, yeah, something, I guess it must be some kind of, hmm, must have been some kind of like ending or something, but I feel like something's changing for sure. The luck is changing. Things are shifting. That's why we have the Wheel of Fortune. There's there's movement, movement. There's always movement in the spring. There's always movement in the spring, in the summer. So it's a turning point happening. I mean, it feels like this person is just going to be on you like white on rice. Like, uh, like crazy. Lots of telephone calls. Lots of communication. Cupid's arrows. Things swiftly changing. As soon, like if you receive this message or this call from this person, if you receive them in a positive way, whoever your person is, then it's just like the dam is breaking here. The dam will be breaking. And this person is just going to be all over you. Like just so much attention towards you if you receive them well. Okay. You know, however you respond, you know, oh, I was thinking of you too. How are you? What's going on? What have you been doing? How's life? Are you still married or did you, did you, are you separated? Do you have kids now? Are you like, what's your, you know, are they out of the house? Like a lot of communication back and forth between you and this person and love starts. Boom. This person sees themselves in you, I just heard. You're like a reflection. Look, Virgo, this reading, for real? Is this real life? Knight of Cups here. Didn't I say some of you are getting engaged in April? Something's happening? A relationship, exclusive connection? This person coming in so romantic. Charming, creative, knight in shining armor or armorette. <laughs> um, or... or What's a female knight? I don't know. Knight's a knight. Masculine or feminine. Um, following the heart. Prince or princess charming. A proposal coming in here. Wow, Virgo. Just show me. What was the past energy? I'm just curious. I know that you all know your story, but what was the past energy? Oh. Oh, okay. Somebody abandoned a very positive thing in the past something was abandoned somebody walked away from that sunshine and that light what does that mean so maybe somebody that you were involved with decided to walk away when things were really good maybe it was you i don't know somebody felt disappointed about something withdrew i feel like this there was a temporary separation i feel like maybe you and this person like uh, maybe it wasn't planned and there was some kind of split or there was just like I don't know, something happened, somebody walked away, but you know, I'm just telling you, spirit saying it wasn't meant, you weren't meant to not be together. There was just some kind of blip on the radar, radar, speed bump in the road, whatever 
had happened, whatever had had happened in the past, whatever went on, maybe it was with a Leo, whatever the situation, you guys were just meant to not be together for some temporary reason, okay? Maybe there was another child in the picture. Who knows? Something. Or somebody. It might have just been for some of you. Maybe there was just this separation that had to happen from external forces. Could be anything. A job relocation or, you know, um, wasn't the right timing or, you know, something happened with a child or some children or, you know, something along those lines. But no, look, somebody's coming in here like... They're coming in. Hop to trot. Steady and heavy and ready to go. There's the moon. All right. So we're getting a lot of water showing up here. We didn't get a court card yet. So when an actual, like a king or a queen shows up, then we'll be able to nail it down. Ooh. Deception. Shady energy. Betrayal. Running away. Um, mm hmm what's this what are they trying to tell you here virgo somebody being very strict oh okay wait a minute someone was born in 1972 they just said hold on a minute oh okay hmm the hierophant taurus energy Somebody ran away from a commitment. I feel like they're trying to finish this story here. Or tra being a very traditional in some kind of relationship of some sort. Um, or snuck away or sneaking away. Um, ooh, I also want to say someone's got a dirty mind. <laughs> someone's being very, like, you know, secretive. Not like in a bad way. It's it's more like dreams and illusions. I feel like this person. Oh my gosh. Okay, they just said it. So this person has had these. They have these dreams and fantasies about getting away. Like I don't know something about you. Okay, that yeah. I mean, yeah, they want to have some kind of committed thing with you. I see that. But I also feel like they want to be, <laughs> okay, they're just telling me, <laughs> like, some kind of role play thing. Like, let's just pretend. Like, can we do something fun and sexy? Let's uh, let's just act like we're not supposed to be together. I don't even know what the hell that means. Whatever. It's weird. It's not weird, but it's just odd that they're telling me this. Like, TMI. I don't need to know what everybody's doing here. But, um... It's more or less like, let's be immoral together. <laughs> what the hell? Let's let's do things like that are that God wouldn't approve. Let's be sneaky. Something, do something at night. Okay, you know, hey, it is what it is. Very romantic, you know, let's kind of like go off the... So the Hierophant is very traditional, straight and narrow, and it's kind of like, let's play and have some fun. And, and you know, let, let's take the side trail over here. Let's go off the beaten path and, you know, just have a little sneaky getaway at night or something fun. Like, I don't know. There's some kind of, because I saw the Knight of Wands there. So it feels like this person's coming in with that lusty energy as well. Like, yeah, yeah, they are, gosh, there's Taurus here. We have Pisces again. This person is like wants to have fun sexy times as well it's not it's not just that okay so some of you virgos they are <laughs> you're theirs that's their thing in their mind like you are there theirs they are they they want to possess you you are you are theirs oh my gosh they have such a crush like such a thing for you like you are this you are a star to them you bring purpose to their life. They don't want to let you go. They know that. Aquarius energy here. They don't want to let you go. They are so stimulated by you. There's something with that night or page of wands that is like, they want to discover so much, explore you. You excite them. You don't complete them. You excite them. 
Virgo. Like, I don't know, maybe you're a healer or maybe you're a star. I mean, there's very possessive energy. And they're like a child. They have this childlike uh, enthusiasm. That's how they're showing up. So, yeah, I mean, you're going to hear from this person this week. I mean, you might be getting a lot of calls, a lot of messages from somebody here. And, and so, too, even when I look at the mirror, this makes me feel like this is your other half. Like twins, when you look in the mirror, you see yourself. That's what I feel like this. Who the hell is this, Virgo? Who is this? Tell Virgo, please. Like, give Virgo like a court card so we can get like real, a king or a queen. Okay, there's the mirror. There's the mirror right there. The two of cups. Okay, Page of Swords person has been watching you. They know that you are their other half. They have been watching you. They're broke, busted, and disgusted. Um, they've been hesitant to come towards you for some reason, but they keep their eye on you, and they will be, and they will be reaching out to you. Oh my gosh. So they're going to tell you when they tell you, right? Who is this person to Virgo? Oh my gosh, they just want to keep telling um, this is this is blow ego blow Virgo's ego up to the moon. You are a wish come true, everything they want. Um, they're completely satisfied with you. You are enough. They're completely content. They don't want anybody else. You are their other half. Jeez. I better go through all this entire deck. There you go. Queen of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. That's the first court card. Masculine or feminine energy there. Okay. So, I mean, you make them look, you make them feel their feelings, the vibes, because the water is all about the vibes. They feel those vibes. They, you make them feel their feelings, whatever that means. They might be one of those water signs that kind of keeps a lid on things when it comes to their emotions. They don't share. You make them look at their emotions, look at their feelings. And they're looking at them hard and they're looking at you. So Virgo, what's the message here? I don't know, except to say that it might be connected to that um, engagement rating that I did last week. But it's definitely someone is in love with you here. They're going to be expressing their love. Th this person also loves themselves. <laughs> And they love how you love yourself. They love you unconditionally. Okay, I don't know. Is it Jesus? Who's coming in here? They're very attracted to you. Have tremendous amount of passion and affection for you. Like, like you are like the total, the one for them. You are the one for them. And so you're going to hear about that this week. Uh, maybe you've already heard this. There's the hermit. So this person has thought long and hard and has done a lot of soul searching when it comes to trying to understand how they feel. They've been on their own, trying to figure things out when it comes to you and your relationship. They've been independent. I don't see them with anyone. Even if you know who this is and you know they're with someone, they've been shutting somebody, their person out or everybody out isolating themselves because they're trying to get real their feelings are coming up to the surface and they're like should i open the, should i take the lid off this chalice this cup of all my feelings so they are really like yep they're coming in to express how they feel for you okay wow of course the devil and the lovers i mean this is like incredible capricorn gemini another virgo perhaps but the only court card there so it's water so it's somewhere in their chart all right, and I just feel like with those two cards there, it's like, want to be together. There's a struggle between being possessive and holding on and then just loving you freely, you know? But this is, the difference between these two cards is this lover's card is about two people making a decision to be together, and then the devil is, it's already been decided. It's not, there's no choice here, okay? So... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I feel like um, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a couple of cards at you here that um, YouTube probably wouldn't like, but I just I don't know. Something's just telling me that I need to. Okay, some of you it's S E X with an E X. Okay, 
for some of you that might be happening here okay give me the green light and I'm on it so this person I can't give you all of these cards because oh my god I'll get banned <laughs> um Okay, I'm just going to leave those two there. That's good. I think that's good. Yeah, give me the green light and I'm on it. I'm, what did I say? Like, white on rice. Like, they're on you. Um, for some of you, there is some kind of physical thing. That's like, you know, it, but it's love too, like I said. I mean, the physical aspect here, the sexuality, temptation, seduction. Um, I mean, they're giving me that Britney song, like, <laughs> toxic you're so toxic yet can't get enough of you and it's just the can't get enough of you is what's toxic it's like oh now i need a cold shower but the love is there too like this whoever your person is here which what we're seeing you know who your person is they know that you guys are meant to be together the lovers here and like they can't help not being with you okay they can't help not longing for you they can't help not thinking about you they can't help calling you if you guys haven't talked you know you'll be getting that call like they can't stay away from you they want to somehow reach out and touch someone <laughs> they just have this who is this who who okay let's get your um oh you know what i'm gonna take a look here let's get the uh, messages of love How much fun is this for you, Virgo? Should I go into the extended reading? Hmm. I think I will, and I'll, I'll try to get into the extended to get more clarification on who this person is. So I can give you like what they look like, um, description of that, there you go. Soulmate. You got the lovers, you got the two of cups. This is your soulmate. <laughs> yeah um yeah for those of you who are like i don't know who this could be i'm not really sure i can't figure out which one it is or i don't know is this someone from my past but who i can't pick this card up hold on i have a drop seat okay well it figures fate this is a destined partnership listen virgo I know what you're thinking. You say this all the time, every day. Well, don't watch tarot every single day. I mean, you always say this and it never happens. Yeah, guess what? Go into the comments from the last reading and you'll see how many people have commented, oh my God, this just happened right after you posted this video. This happened. Yeah. Don't give up. Don't think negatively. Of course it could be for you. Okay. So yeah, there was some time apart for sure. Let's take a look and see um, the Chinese sign, okay? Let's see what the Chinese sign is here. So you can get kind of an idea, uh, you and or your person, okay? Year of the rooster, year of the tiger, tiger, year of the pig, double pig here. Okay, year of the horse, year of the rabbit, year of the dog we have a horse again renee i just heard the name renee year of the ox okay and year of the monkey so if that doesn't resonate it doesn't mean it's not your story okay just keep that in mind let us move on other messages that virgo needs to know before we get into the charms put all my cards away over the weekend because I wasn't here but um let's see anything else that Virgo needs to know either related to this reading or just separately or anything else a lustful fiery spirit showing up oh this person's showing up like I said in a very lusty lustful energy fiery fiery fire could be could have fire somewhere going on here that could be like I said maybe it's a Leo it could be an Aries or a Sag just hot to trot for you, Virgo. Haste, speed, and travel. There you go. Coming in quick. Where did that card go? I just saw it. Okay. Yep, they're coming. This is going to happen really quick. If it's not already happening. 
Manifestation. Lay all your cards on the table. Don't be fearful. Use every tool to create and manifest this new journey you're about to be on, Virgo. As it is above and below, so it will be on earth. So whoever is meant for you, it will not pass you by. Doesn't matter what you do. I know some of you like you haven't talked to somebody in like forever. And now somebody new comes in. But you feel like the other person was your person. You didn't want to start dating somebody new because then you might miss out on the other person who just needed time to figure things out. Listen, if that other person's for you, you could go and marry somebody else or move away or go live somewhere, I don't know, underground. You both will find each other again. If it's in the cards, it's destined to, you're destined to be together. Nothing can stop that force. No decision you make can stop that. It's just the way it is. So to go live your life, be happy, and enjoy yourself. Justice is justice card. Remember that thing that you were sweating over, Virgo? Yeah, well, that's it's coming to an end. You're in a good place now because the verdict is delivered in favor of you. And that's what I was saying. Whatever this situation is, is going to manifest in your favor. Okay? This could just be someone you were a good friend with, maybe in the past. Or it's just... You're good friends, and it turns into something more. Somebody takes a risk and expresses how they feel, and they want to be with you. Um, if, and I think a foundation of friendship is the best relationship to have. If you guys can bond through friendship, then you build that trust with each other. You know them. They know you. And then the love just follows, and, it's, and then all the physical affection and everything, the intimacy, and it's just... That's the best relationship when you're like, when you're like BFFs, <laughs> like seriously, you don't just don't want to talk to anybody else but each other because they get you and you get them material wish being granted here. Ooh. Oh yeah. For some of you, it's like you're getting that ring for others of you. You're going to get that house that you wanted. Okay. Speaking of which head of household, take charge of your divine masculine energy that's for the gentleman. A father figure guides you. Strive for respect, dignity, and power. And an influential male is supporting you right now. So there's an influential male. And there's take a risk. What do you got to lose? Start over can be tough, but it's time to spread your rings. Don't overthink this. Whatever you do, Virgo, go with the flow. Just enjoy yourself. Don't overthink anything. And listen, I have to give this caveat. I'm not talking to everyone. Listen, if you're in love with someone that was abusive and you're like, oh, they're coming back. I absolutely do not condone you saying yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Right? If you have, because you need to work on yourself. You got some stuff you need to deal with. If you're going to take somebody back who's like putting hands on you, you can't. No, that's, this is not for you. Okay? I don't care if you feel like that past person or someone who laid hands on you was your twin. That's not your twin because your twin would never do that, right? Now, unless they went and got help and they got it themselves all sorted out, deep psychotherapy, dealt with all their childhood trauma, their issues, their anger, if they got that sorted out, well, that's different. You know what I mean? But that's, that should be the only caveat to wanting the past to return. I don't even care if somebody was just like downright narc. Um, if they like had came had a come to Jesus moment and like fixed everything, just got themselves in a better place. Different story, okay. But I'm not. I don't really feel like that's what this situation. It might be for some of you, but this is definitely not somebody who's coming back in because they want to be with you because they love you. Because if they're not healed and they're sick, that's not love, you know. So you got to like use your discernment, you know, take the messages you hear and be like, okay, is this for me? And let me just wait and see. And you'll know when you know, because it'll start happening. Things will shift and change for you. All right, let's get into some Scrabble letters, some names, initials, September 21st, September 3rd. Okay, the letter O. Oh, September 13th, August 31st, the letter A, the letter E. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. Oh, there's a ring that just kind of fell out. So some of y'all getting that ring. 
March 13th, I just heard. And March 31st. Oh wait, maybe something happened on March 31st. Maybe something occurred. Okay. So you do have a, sh a captain's wheel here. So, wow. For me, that's like things are shifting. Things are turning here. The wheel. This is like the wheel. The wheel is turning. Okay. So this ship, I don't know. Something's, somebody's leaving port. All right. So we got the letter W. I just heard Wayne. The letter A. The letter L. Walter. Someone's a lawyer or connected to law. 1989. All right. The letter I. It's August 26. Somebody's 35. Someone's 55. 1986. The letter N. N is in Nancy. N is in Nick. Nicholas. Nettie. Okay, we definitely have a September birthday. Letter B. Um, Brian. Okay, somebody is 45. Okay, we have the letter J. BJ. Enough said. March. Somebody's birthday is in March. All right, September 8th, they're telling me. Um, Janice or Janet or Janelle. I'm just hearing... Somebody's getting some jaw surgery or had jaw surgery or something with a jaw. Ooh, you have two V's. Okay, somebody's initials, V and V. Oh, it just turned to a T. So V and V, I just heard. Like Vicky Verone? I don't know. Someone's 39. Someone's born in 1968. Okay, you guys, hold on. And I'm going to call out some places. All right, someone is either 61 or born in 61. So we have LA, we have Louisiana, Louisiana I just heard, um, Washington or Washington State. You have um, Arkansas, we have Vermont. Someone lives in, they just said English town, English town. I have no idea where that is. Uh, Illinois, I'm getting, um, maybe someone's in Jersey. Okay, wait. Um, I just heard Ben Salem. Ben Salem. All right, let's see what, any other Zodiac? So we have Virgo. Capricorn, double Capricorn and Leo showing up here. Virgo again, Scorpio, Pisces, and Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. And Pisces, no, Aries. Double Aries, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, they could be the sign. Now we did have a ring. Now this actually isn't really a charm. It's my dragon ring, <laughs> but I, I guess I threw it in there and I forgot, but you know, hey, there's your ring. So, I mean, hey, a dragon ring, isn't that cool? It's just costume jewelry. Got it online. I should wear it again, but I don't ever wear rings, but yeah, the ring is symbolic. Okay. There's a ring. Somebody's getting a ring. Let's see. And you have the ship's wheel. Okay. You also have... Oh, that's interesting. This is a quarter. Is that a quarter moon? Okay. So it's a moon with... It's a pink moon. Wow. So the pink moon. I don't know when the pink moon is. It, is, this, is this the pink moon coming up? Can anybody clarify that for me? The moon that's coming up. This um, full moon is April 23rd. I don't know. There's a pink moon. Maybe a pink full moon or, but this is a crescent moon. And as a matter of fact, is a crescent moon, oh, a crescent moon is like a waning. It's either a waxing or waning. Wax on, wax off, Danielson. Okay, it's all I'm trying to say. Something to do with a pink moon. Somebody's got a, is that a drink? I don't know, there's a pink moon vibe. And you guys, last but not least, 
and I'm just going to leave this right here once I can turn this over because it can't function. Okay. Oh, real quick, you guys, just so you know, I have a new website. My website's all should be up and running. Uh, just go to my link tree. I have products. I'm selling products now, so go check them out. I got some really cool things I think you guys will want to see. But you can go over to my website, check out. You can book readings from there, all that cool stuff. So definitely go check that out. Um, here you go. Look at that broken heart. Love is coming in. That broken heart is getting healed, Virgo. It's getting healed by... You know what heals a broken heart? Love. <laughs> That's what heals a broken heart. Love. Nothing else. Nothing else heals a broken heart except more love. Okay? Whether you're loving yourself, that looks like the Philly love the sign in Philadelphia. So maybe Philly is an attachment to someone here. City of brotherly love. Um, nothing heals a broken heart but more love. Because, I mean, band-aids don't go in there. Right? Nothing else goes there but the other half. And so there's a other half love situation coming in. Um, yeah, I'm going to go over the extended and I'm going to do a deep dive to see who this person is. Okay, I know it was showing a water sign, but I'm going to try to pick up features and throw out some features, try to see like what the, I was going to say, what's the prognosis of this relationship, where it's going to go, how things are going to go. So if you're interested to get more information or go have that deep dive, you, you're free to go click on the link. It's $11.11 .11 if you want it. If not, this should be fine. Okay. This is pretty good. I think like if you're not trying to spend any more money, although that's pretty inexpensive, but if you are fine with this, there you go. Just let it be. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry for the late, the delay reading, but I'm back. I'm here. I'm good. I did not have too much chocolate. Um, I just needed that extra day for myself. So, all right, you guys go over and check out my website as well. The link is in the description box below in my link tree, right where you um, book the readings. It's right down there. You'll see it. And don't forget to join the Virgo gang. So you can show up in the chat, use all the cool emojis. I love it if you guys join, if you haven't yet. And um, that's all she wrote. Love you guys. I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.